Blockchain, also called the distributed ledger, is a revolutionary technology which promises to change the way banking and financial services industry operate at this point in time. It's uh, a massive departure from the way typically a centralized ledger operates in the financial services industry. So I think it's uh, uh, the interest levels in the banking uh, markets and financial services markets is huge because of the disruption this can cause and also the potential it uh, promises to the banks uh, by uh, kind of creating efficiencies in the back office uh, to the tune of $20 billion. So that's massive, uh, 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 therefore the massive interest being generated in the marketplace. And we think uh, there are uh, certain use cases which are developing which are very non-controversial, especially around uh, fraud, regulatory compliance, uh, self-execution of smart contracts, uh, essentially because of the way uh, the time stamping happens in uh, distributed ledger where every transaction is time stamped and uh, verified against the previous block of transactions. So therefore the promise uh, it offers to the banking and financial markets is huge. I believe uh, there is also a huge amount of interest being generated uh, if you look from a, the way banks are approaching this in the marketplace now. Uh, a consortium led approach is being developed where uh, banks are coming together to develop their own blockchains which is called permissible uh, ledgers, essentially a private blockchain and there is then the open uh, ledger which is called uh, the likes of Ethereum which is also becoming very dominant in the marketplace. I believe in the next uh, few months we will see a huge amount of investments uh, going through this uh, blockchain uh, development and uh, we will see a lot more use cases being developed. Another uh, set of use cases being developed are uh, around uh, uh, syndicated uh, debt environments, uh, factoring, insurance, essentially wherever the unified clearing and settlement uh, back offices don't exist. So therefore, uh, blockchain promises a huge potential there. Uh, there are a few issues with the blockchain as we speak now. Blockchain uh, technologically is limited because of the way transactions are carried out. Blockchain only supports about seven transactions per second which is very low if you compare to a credit card company which uh, like a Visa which would have about 4,000 transactions per second. But there is huge investments happening from the technology side as well. Uh, we Companies are leveraging uh, big data technologies and also in-memory computing which will overcome this uh, initial hurdle from a blockchain perspective. So the blockchain interest is not just limited to banking and financial services market. Uh, we are seeing also a lot of interest being generated uh, in the governments, for example. Uh, governments are looking at uh, blockchain from a healthcare uh, records perspective, uh, property markets, uh, and other contracts which can be, which are not very structured as of now. We're also seeing, uh, you know, advisory highest houses or big four kind of companies stepping into blockchain to structure contracts to an, an advisory capacity for the future.